Right, you're listening to Radio West Fife on RadioWestFife.org.uk. I'm sitting in what it seems to be a boardroom at the moment, uh, and we're here at the Jack and Jill market, and we're speaking to Carolyn, who is, is the marketing and events manager for the uh, Jack and Jill market. So, Carolyn, what is the Jack and Jill market? The Jack and Jill market is Scotland's quality baby and children's market, where you can sell on quality, nearly new items. Uh, it's a way of recycling for local parents, mums, families, to um, sell their items and with plenty of life left in them onto new families. Obviously, we have have this in the community for everybody to benefit from these events. And what range of products do you have? Is it ranging from baby foods to other baby care products? Well, what we do is we it's anything really from age zero to up to nine years old. They can have large items, so you can have prams, cots, travel systems, bikes, uh, Moses baskets, all these kind of items. And we have the stalls, so all the toys, books, clothes, equipment, maternity gear, um, you name it, we cover it. As long as it's anything to do with baby and children's items, zero to nine and, and maternity stuff. We sell here. And what's the typical response for uh, these sort of markets? Is it incredibly popular or does it vary from area to area? Um, they're becoming very, very popular. We've got a huge demand. We're setting these markets up now throughout Scotland mm-hmm. uh, due to the demand. Um, and we find that um, it's now the, the new trendy way really to shop. Uh, I think a lot of parents and mums are getting a lot smarter in the way that they, they shop. And uh, everybody uh, likes a bargain, don't they? So that's just why they, they come along to the Jack and Jill market. Yeah, everyone loves a discount. Speaking of the, um, the Dunfermline market today, how's that been today so far? You've only just been doing this for about an hour, an hour and a half, I believe. Yeah, very busy, very busy. We had a big queue this morning uh, that we quickly got in within a couple of minutes. Uh, it's very busy. It's keeping up and uh, it's buzzing on the, on the shop floor at the moment. And it's constant. We're getting people coming through every minute. Every minute of the hour, we're, we're getting lots of people through. It's very busy, yeah. We had a lot last month and we think we're probably going to be on record again this month to, to to get over 500 anyway, nearly 600 people through. As you were mentioning, you do uh, markets throughout Scotland. There there are a, f- a few planned in the future, aren't there? Yes, yes. Tomorrow we have one in uh, Livingston. We've got Dundee tomorrow as well. We are uh, in the process of trying to get one set up in Glenorthus and Kirkcaldy, but we're looking for a suitable venue. We have them in Perth. We have them in Stirling, Falkirk, Grangemouth, Edinburgh, Glasgow. We're all over Scotland and we're adding, we've just added Aberdeen, we'll soon be going to Inverness. So yeah, the demand is there and we're, we're spreading ourselves out as fast as we can to help. From what you're telling me, it sounds like you're a newly started business or you've... Yeah, um, Nicole Diamond, who's the director uh, of the, the, the brand, uh, set this up. Um, and I think we've been in Dunfermline now, maybe uh, a year now, maybe we've been here. Um, so it's just really, we are sort of spreading out now throughout Scotland as we get the demand and people get to know about us. Just a case of getting yourselves out there. And- yeah, that's right, that's right. And we, we are a not-for-profit community interest organisation, which a lot of people don't appreciate. They know we're 100% committed and given a good event, but a lot of people don't appreciate that we don't have the, the advertising budgets that some of these big companies have. So we're really there just to spread the word throughout the, the, the country and local communities to let everybody know what we have available for them. And if we want to find out more about the Jack and Jill markets, um, how can we find out? Right, well, you've got a website, um, jackandjillmarket.co.uk, and we're also on Facebook and we're on Twitter. And you can all go also sign up for market alerts. Um, you could do that through the website. And we uh, notify people in a weekly email, uh, advising them of new markets, new locations that have been added on. And, um, you know, you get kept in touch on new bargains, new competitions that we might have running at that time. Uh, you mentioned that you had the Facebook and Twitter there. Uh, how's the response been on that uh, so far? Very good, yes. I think we've got over 4,000 uh, followers at the moment. Um, and it's growing, obviously. Um, and Twitter, we're quite new to Twitter, so we're just yeah. really getting into the Twitter uh, at the moment. But uh, yes, it's, we get a lot of interest, and especially after a very good event. We get a lot more people coming on and joining on board. So it's really good, it's really, really good. Really good timing as well, especially the Took Gallows on. That's right, that's right. That was just a coincidence. I hadn't appreciated that the Took Gallows on this afternoon, but it's not clashed yet with our event this morning. It's, it's helping to get the customers in. Yes, yes, definitely, yes, yeah. So, Carolyn, uh, thanks very much for coming on to Radio West Fife to talk about the Jack and Jill market. Thank you very much, thanks very much, and we hope to see you one day at one of our Jack and Jill markets.